What's going on, fellas? I've got a 2001 Nissan Maxima here. I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of an important fuse and relay for the operation of your parking lights and your tail lights. So first things first, we're gonna check the fuse. You're gonna open this cover by pushing on that tab there. And the fuse for us to look at is gonna be the 10 amp fuse in the upper left. So you can just simply grab it and pull it straight out. So be sure to check that. As you can see, this one is intact. Now the role of that fuse is to provide a constant power to your tail light relay. So the tail light relay is located right here. In order to get to it, you're gonna push up on that little tab and pull this back. And the tail light relay itself is gonna be this one right here. You can try tapping on it to see if it's stuck or you can remove it. And one thing I will say about removing it you may have to push on this little retaining tab there, get it out of the way. After that point, you should be able to wiggle this out and it will come right out like so. And you can swap this with different relays as a troubleshooting step. A good relay to swap it with would be your fog light relay, which is right here. Now, while we're here, I'll point out to you the pins and what each one does. Um, I've pointed out to you the 10 amp fuse that provides constant power to it. Uh, that comes in at Let's see, that comes in at pin one and at pin three. So both of those pins should always be hot. Uh, pin number, let's see. Pin number one and pin number three, those are gonna be these two fuses right there. So those two fuses are always hot. I'm kind of pausing because I have to read the numbers on the inside of this and it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. One and three, those always get power from that 10 amp fuse I pointed out to you. Now there's a something called a smart entrance control unit. It's inside the car behind the dash. It's a little electronic module. And when that module decides that the parking light should be on because it's receiving a signal from your switch, it sends a ground and that ground comes in on pin number two, which we can see pin number two is this pin right there. So the ground comes in right there to signal this relay to click. When the relay clicks or is energized, it sends power from pin number one, sorry, from pin number three to pin number five. So it connects these two together. So it connects these two pins together. So that pin actually is what goes to the lights themselves. If you hook up a paper clip between these two, then the light should just stay on permanently. So yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Be sure to let me know if you've got any questions. More importantly, if you've got any advice about troubleshooting the taillights on your Nissan Maxima. Thanks for watching.